This morning we're having a look at the Bible and we're looking at some words from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 28. I've called this a lament to a bad king. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, take up a lament concerning the king of Tyre and say to him, this is what the sovereign Lord says. You wear the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You wear in Eden, the garden of God, every precious stone adorned you, carnalian, crystallite and emerald, topaz, onyx and jasper, lapis, lazuli, turquoise and beryl. Your settings and mountains were made of gold. On the day you were created, they were prepared. You were anointed as a guardian cherub, for so I ordained you. You were on the holy mount of God. You walked among the fiery stones. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created, until wickedness was found in you. Through your widespread trade, you were filled with violence and you sinned. So I drove you in disgrace from the mount of God, and I expelled you, guardian cherub, from among the fiery stones. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty, and you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendour. So I threw you to the earth, and made a spectacle of you before kings. By your many sins and dishonest trade you have desecrated your sanctuaries. So I made a fire come out of you, and it consumed you, and I reduced you to ashes on the ground, in the sight of all who were watching. All the nations who knew you were appalled at you. You have come to a horrible end and will be no more. I had a flat tyre this week and this lament from the Old Testament is to the king of Tyre. What is a lament and who is the king of Tyre? Well, it's an expression of deep regret and disappointment to one of those regional kings who reigned around 900 to 1,000 years before Christ. But the sentiment could apply to anyone. It's about how people, you and I, can change for the worse when God blesses us the most, or when things are going really well. The king Hiram I was placed in God's garden in Eden, he was sealed with perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty, adorned or dressed with every precious stone set in gold. He was anointed as a guardian cherub and ordained by God. He was blameless in all his ways until wickedness found him. And then God said, you sinned. Your heart became proud because of your beauty and your wisdom was corrupted because of your splendour. Because of your many sins and dishonest trade, you have desecrated your sanctuaries. In other words, it was all going well. Then the king started taking God for granted and did things his own way instead of the right way. Being corrupt and dishonest rather than trusting God. You see it in modern life when rulers, leaders and politicians start to believe they are beyond reproach. Sometimes we call this hubris, power gone to their heads almost like a god syndrome. Where does it lead? Usually somebody gets hurt. Corruption, dishonesty or sin always leads to that. The global stage is full of people like King Tyre who force their will on others causing pain and destruction. Perhaps God's final words to the king would be apt for certain rulers today. Verse 19 says, All the nations who knew you are appalled at you. You have come to a horrible end and will be no more.